Hey, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today we're taking a page out of our good friend Brian Misko's book, Grilling with House of Q, and preparing his bacon bites. So one of the things that makes this recipe really fantastic is its simplicity. And of course, we're making bacon, so it's gonna be hard to be disappointed. All we have to do to get this started is cut our slab of bacon into, oh, roughly one inch strips. Now this is roughly a two pound slab of bacon with the skin off. So we'll get six good strips out of this one. What we want to do next is season these up with some rub to add a nice barbecue flavor. We're just going to be using a little bit of mustard as a binder. And we'll put a layer on all sides. When we cut these into strips like this, it really gives us the opportunity to increase the flavor. We essentially have twice as much surface area to work with, and that's twice as much seasoning we can add to these things. All right, we'll be seasoning our bacon today with Plowboy's Barbecue Yardbird Rub. And this is just kind of a go-to pork rub for us when we're doing anything that's classically barbecue pork flavor. It's got sweetness and it's got salt, and it packs a really great punch. All right, now that we've got all surfaces covered evenly, we're gonna take this out to our smoker. All right, so we're smoking our bacon today on a Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill, and it's set to 250 degrees. We'll place our bacon on the second shelf, leaving a little room for that smoke to really move around each strip. And then we'll close up the lid and let it smoke open until it reaches about 200 degrees internal temperature. All right, we're about an hour 45 into the smoke and the bacon's got some really fantastic color to it. It's also probing very tender, so we know that it's almost ready to go. At this point, I've turned the cooker up to 400 degrees. I'm gonna glaze it with some barbecue sauce and then set those slabs right on top of where the fire is. We're glazing with House of Q's apple butter barbecue sauce, which has got a really great sweetness to it and a little bit of fruitiness to it. And I think it's gonna complement the bacon really well. So I'll just turn these over and lay them right above the firebox. And then here in a second, we'll glaze the other side. Now we'll let these cook just a little bit longer so that sauce can get nice and sticky on the outside. All right, so it only took about five or 10 minutes for that sauce to really tack up. And you can see down here, we got some nice grill marks on the bottom. And that sauce is much more sticky than it was a few minutes ago. We'll just cut nice bite-sized pieces. Now let's see how we did. Oh, it's just super tender. It's salty, there's sweetness from the sauce, and that fat makes a really nice mouthfeel, very supple. This is a fantastic game day snack, just having family over, whatever it may be. 
you're gonna wanna save this recipe for your next get together. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comments section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.